February 1853, uh, they decided to build a train between Waterford and Tremor. And we used to get, when we, we used to go to Tremor on the train if we had the money sometimes. Very, very seldom. Yeah. We were on the beach then eating our sandwiches. Full of sand. Full of sand. <laughs> uh, and it's seven miles long and he finished it in seven months. A fantastic achievement, given that they had no uh, JCBs in those days. Well, the thing is, again, on the, when you go down to the train, down the run, railway square there, there were so many. Oh, yeah, my mother used to bring us, you know, um, twice a year we were lucky, and she'd bring us down. But my mother had three or four of us, but there'd be about ten go with her. You know, she'd buy four tickets, but be about ten go on board. The water station for the Tomo train was just across the river from where we lived. So we used to have what we used to, like stepping stones across the river, and we used to sneak across there, across into a field, and just as the train was pulling here, we used to kind of jump into the, the train from the opposite side of the station and sneak in because they would check the tickets as you're getting on the train from the other side. But after that, they'd never check tickets. I'd be there and I'd be shoving all the kids in. Do you know? And like, they'd ask me then, where's the ticket? And I'd say, my mother's coming behind me. She come behind me. There was more mothers coming behind me with one or two tickets. That's it, like you know. But that train used to be jam packed in the summer. You really couldn't get on the train unless you were at the front of a queue, you know. Now that railway was carrying 424,000 passengers a year. That's passenger journeys.